Um, it's the old fella, or if you knew here, old Mr. B, whatever you want to call me. Uh, yes, I had a chat with Shrey Dog, however you want to say it. But um, yeah, uh, absolutely great. Uh, the guy is a great, great guy. Anyway, as you'll see. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to shut up rabbit in. Then. Anyway, on with the chat we go. Ah, there you go. Yeah, hello. It's the old fella here with the one and only. Shred dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to call on me like that. Oh, I, yes, I suppose I should. I just watched the last interview you did. I, I suppose I had the same reaction. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's, it's, it's great. It's great. I mean, well, if you like, with that one, the ending was quite funny because we're both in stitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is good. Right. Now then. Well, I, the reason I do this is I like to get to know people because it's a community, right? It's a yeah. community where we, I, I, like to, I like to get to know the, uh, the other people and what you're doing. So I like, I like what you're doing. It's very good. Thank you. Um, and I, well, I, I try to nip on people, all the people's channels, but like today, mm, I did 11 reactions today. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. No, I know why, because I didn't mean to. I just got <laughs> carried away. And, but... I do that, then I've got like X amount of days. T tomorrow's are already up there, done and everything. I think I think six have already gone up there, but uh, and um, that's that's what I do. But uh, also, it's like it's like with everything, interviews. This is what I want to do, and and I've said this before that I want to get more than like yourself on several people, and we can have a chat about any old thing. That'd be that really cool. It doesn't have to be just Japanese bands. It can be any anything. Right. First question, bandmate. What got you into bandmate? Man, so uh, do you want the long story or the short story? <laughs> I've got all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so to go back into the past a little bit, a few years, so I had been aware of Japanese music from, you know, obviously things like anime, right? I, yeah. I was a big Scandal fan from back in the day. They're really old stuff. Asian Kung Fu Generation obviously has, they do every single anime opening, basically. So I was aware of that, but I didn't fully understand the concept of rock is actually a thing in Japan. Like it is a big thing. And not only is it a thing, they are just killing the game. They are so good. So for a while, I wasn't listening to rock music. I, I grew up listening to all the greats, you know, Hendrix, Santana. My, my dad was a big hippie. He was at Woodstock. Um, he would go to concerts all the time, Ozfest every year. Uh, he would take my mom to all these concerts. So I grew up on classic rock. I loved rock. As I got older, you know, I started listening to my own rock, you know, back in the, the late 90s, early 2000s. And let's be real, a lot of that was pretty garbage. <laughs> so I stopped listening to rock and I got into the whole club EDM scene and I was listening to a lot of that. From there, it transitioned to K-pop and then to J-pop, Vocaloid, different types of like now Japanese genres that I was getting into. And, you know, I've seen Blackpink live in concert. Um, I went to Miku Expo, which is a huge Vocaloid event when they're here in L.A. So that was kind of going along. Then I actually took a trip out to Japan and actually seeing the Japanese culture being in Japan, just seeing how everything runs there and how the people are absolutely fell in love with the Japanese culture. So around this time, my, my dad, unfortunately, was diagnosed with cancer, and I was trying to spend time with him as much as I could, but he was living far away. And when I say far away, I mean like 70 miles. Now, in Southern California, 70 miles means a long time because traffic is a nightmare here. But I started listening to more rock music at that time, just because I could kind of listen to it with my dad a little bit here and there. And I was kind of going in the direction of starting to discover J-Rock bands. And I personally came across Band Made, and I was like, this is the most incredible band. Now, unfortunately, at the time when I finally discovered Band Made, my, um, my dad was already kind of to the point where he couldn't really listen to music. I think the last band that I shared with him was Polka Dot Stingray. And they had a few really slower songs off of one of their albums. And it was really, um, their, their guitarist is really good. Reminds me a lot of uh, Santana. 
And so it was just a nice, softer kind of like silver song that he could still kind of listen to. And so it was just kind of like just really just spending time with my dad, enjoying music because he's always been a lover of all kinds of rock music. He was just the, the biggest rock fan out there. And so it just kind of all happened at once, you know, my journey with kind of Japan, visiting there, learning about the culture and just listening to more rock music again, getting away from the EDM scene, the club music and just kind of bonding with my dad a little bit before, you know, he unfortunately passed. And obviously, you know, when that happened, you know, I was still really young at the time. I'm still young. I, I don't remember if I was 29 or 30 when he passed away. It was just a few years ago. Um, and so it, you know, it hit me really hard and music was kind of what I found to keep me going. And again, at that time I had discovered band made and I just, their, their music resonated with me. Um, really Konami was probably the reason that I enjoyed them so much because she did give me those Santana vibes. Um, the, the first song, I don't remember the first song I heard. It actually was not thrill, which is funny. Uh, because everybody's first song was Thrill. It was something else. But the song that finally probably got me the most was actually, um, uh, which song is it? Wonderland? That song just, oh man, that hit me deep. You know, when that song, when I heard that one, I was like, that was kind of it. You know, it had just those jazzy vibes. Konami's guitar was just absolutely beautiful. Psyche's vocals just, oh man, that song. That was the song for sure that, that completely sold me. I was like, this is by far the greatest band out there. Like there's nobody that can compete with them. So that's kind of the, I guess, the the shortened version of the long version of no, my, my no, journey there. That, that's fine. I, I lost my dad when I was 39. It's rough, man. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tough thing. You know, I, I'm again, I'm still really young. I'm dumb. I don't know anything. Right. So the last thing that I, I thought I would have to deal with at, you know, when I'm turning 30 is losing my dad. And, you know, he was totally healthy before that fine going to concerts, got cancer. And this last kind of few years was just like kind of seeing him slowly wither away. was just, man, it's yeah. tough. My dad had cancer. Man, I'm sorry about that. No, it's, no, it's fine. But my loan of bone marrow cancer. And, um, you know, uh, it was only what? I think he just turned 66 when he got it. I mean, well, I'm, I'm, I'm 70 next year. So, I'll, you know, and uh, because you always wonder at that age, what do you feel like? Yeah. Yeah. Brains, brains fight. It's just the body. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, but yeah, um, no, that's in, uh, it's interesting. It, it's, um, you know, something you, you know, you like to say you're not expecting, mm -hmm. and uh, not at that age, you know, you thought it'd be, I mean, it'd live. My mum was uh, 93, lived to wow. 93. That's awesome. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, that's my uncle, 93. <laughs> Well, she's 96, I think. Yeah, no, it's all right. There's, wow. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of longevity there, you see. Mm -hmm. But my dad wasn't, oh, me see, like my father was different because obviously going back further, like I'm listening to rock music and he'd be going, bloody row, can't understand what we're singing about. <laughs> and that, hey, that was the Beatles, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, later on, as they get older, then they like the Beatles. Yeah, yeah right. Like that. Um, of course, well, I'm not a Beatles fan. I know they were great songwriters, but it was too the music was too tame for me. I was more <laughs> well, I was in a band in the 70s, right? Mm -hmm. And then somebody says, Oh, let's do so. I said, No, well, can't we start doing our own stuff? Can't we start doing it? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do some Beatles covers. That was it. I was off, I left. <laughs> and they, they called me a punk rocker, I think, before punk rock was invented. That's funny. So you are the original well, punk I don't know rocker. About original. I, I wanted to. I wanted to. You know. I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah. I mean, I'm no. I'm no flipping musician, self-taught, whatever. You know. But uh, I just do it for fun. Yeah. And and, and that that's that's what it's all about, isn't it? Doing it for fun. Yeah. I come up with some strange sounds. <laughs> I know the feeling on that. <laughs> do you play yourself? Well, again, I you could say I play, but 
I mean, really, I have a guitar and I am trying to learn to play. Now, if you give me some chords, yeah, sure, I can play them. I, I can follow along to a metronome now. I, I finally got to the point at, with my guitar journey that I can put on like a backing track or something and just kind of improvise over it. Hmm. Not very good, maybe, but I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I, I can read tab. Doesn't mean I can follow a 220 BPM song. You know? <laughs> uh fastest I plays about 150 I think because I mean I know 140 so these behind me are mine mm -hmm. although they're not behind me really they're, is it know, a picture? They're, it's a picture but they are mine okay. um, well I own 13 jeez I have two guitars I have a PRS uh, just the SE24 and then I have a knockoff Strat because I wanted something just cheap to oh. destroy now, I'm not a Strat fan. I never, I don't ask me why, but I never have been. I'm a telly fan, but okay. I've, I've got a couple of telecasters. I've got uh, I've got a five-string bass with active pickups. I've got one seven-string. Um, and one, one V, because everybody has to have a V. Yeah, right. Um, you know, but um, it's just, it's just me. So I said, well, you, I, said, well I, I don't like pictures hanging on the wall, so I'll just hang guitars on the wall, you know. I ain't nothing wrong with that. But yeah, it's, it's just and, and the, the last one I, I just recently brought cost me £149, which is around about $180, right? That included because yeah. it was free delivery. It's from Germany. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. That's a good deal. And no, nah, no, nah, okay. So you 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 know it's a cheap, cheap, cheap guitar. Mm -hmm. It's better than that flipping. I've got one of these Gibsons, what they call a special, you know, like 400 uh, yeah. quid, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it knocks that into touch. You know, that's what happens. My, I, again, I have that Strat that was a hundred bucks. Uh, the strings that came on it were garbage, but those yeah. can be replaced. The guitar itself sounds really good. It's a really nice, and uh, going along the fretboard, there was yep. no rough edges. I'm like, how do you get, like, you have like 500, $600 guitars that have like frets that need to be filed down. Like, how uh -huh. is this possible? See this one here, this black one, this Gibson mm -hmm. Les Paul Studio. Ow. <laughs> See, yeah, and I have a hundred dollar strat that doesn't have any of that. It's as smooth as my PRS, which is like, how is this possible? <laughs> the one beyond is the most expensive, the pink one. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That, that is nice, but because it's supposed to be three thousand pounds. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's an HP, but. For some reason, they'll sell it at half price. I couldn't, uh, that, I couldn't say no. Yeah, it sounds like a good deal. Right? And the next day, that, that sold out. Yeah, I mean, if you don't buy that, you're losing money. Yeah, Let's it's, be one real. Of, it's one of the things. If you didn't do it there and then, and you think I'll do it the next day, it's too late. The Man. other one, the other one, I mean, I mean, I I'm going to move back. This one, <laughs> this one here, the, 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 the brown cord, that one's mm -hmm. got the, uh, what they call the robot tuning on it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. But um, and the other one's the Schecter, by the way. That, that's the Schecter copy. That's another good guitar. Um, but I don't buy it normal. It's the same. I've got, like, Telecasters, but they've got humbuckers in. Mm, okay. Or like bare knuckle, that sort of thing or whatever. Yeah. Um, I've got... One, one's got Seymour Duncan's in. This is a genuine, it's Fender. It was made in, um, I think it's made in Indonesia because they make okay. it. It's got a set neck. Really? Yeah. Wow. Set neck telly, and it's a, it's, a, it's a special. We see more Duncan pickups in it, and it coils, tap or split, whatever. That's really cool. Yeah, and, and apparently they're... Uh, I think they'll be quite sought after in a few years. Yeah, no, for sure. I know I'm kind of getting that that itch right now where it's like, I want to buy a bunch of guitars, but it's like, bro, I can barely even play. Why am I trying to buy all these guitars? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't get the time to play them. Yeah. Like I said to you, there's this, there's this tune that Axe is going to be working on with me. And he said, to, I'll, I'll tell you this much. He says to me, about the guitars, I says no, I, no, no. I, I, this was it. It was meant to be a bass driven, distorted bass. Believe you me, it's distorted. It's hey, me. There you go. It's me. It's you know, it's me giving it some on the bass. We're like, 
Hey, because I've got a Helix, I've got an amplifier. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's the LT, it's not the full, you know. Right. <laughs> but I've got that, and, I, and there's so much fun you can have with it. And so I do. But, yeah, I recently just picked up a new amp. It's like a Fender Mustang 3, something like that. It is a really cool amp because it's got so say, many different effects built into it. They're supposed to be good, but apparently the, the biggest seller is the Boss Katana. Really? Yeah. Huh. What a gather. Uh, well, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got, I don't own an amplifier because it goes through me helix into the mix mm-hmm. and into the computer. That's it. Yeah. See, there you go. I don't have any, any setup to record anything, nor do I want anybody to hear what I sound like. So <laughs> I just have my amp. I actually bought this one used um, off of, I don't remember if it's Reverb, Sweetwater or something. I got it for like $150. It, it sure it looks a little bit ugly. It's it's a little dirty, beat up, but it sounds amazing. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Exactly. It's a matter what it sounds like. That's it. That's exactly it. You mean uh who was it? I'm trying to think now. Oh yeah, the, yeah, they had this royal thing go off over mm-hmm. here. <clears throat> and apparently there was uh I forget who, who oh the Eurovision Song Contest, right? Okay. Normally, this country is nilpa, always laughs, no points. Mm-hmm. They don't like us. <laughs> but apparently, this was this good. It came second. Hey. Well, we 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 did know Ukraine was going to win, so you know, from of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And anyway, so he's now playing at the Queen's do. My sister says to, she saw it. She says you could have changed the guitar. She says the paint's all off it and all that. I says, oh no. <laughs> I says to her, look, he's had that a long time. He plays it. And I says to, to, to change it, it, I says, I can't even explain it to you. What yeah. it means to him. There's history in that guitar. Yeah. And so, yeah, this is what it's all about, a guitar. I mm-hmm. think the oldest one I've got is 11 years old. That's you know, pretty good. It's a um, Gibson uh, Nighthawk. Okay. You know, you know the night talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Gibson fan personally. Okay, that's I'll why play. I went with the PRS. It's not as good as a Gibson. It's not as good as a Strat, but it can do them both. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The, 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 the PRS is a uh, well sought after. Um, I've also got a um, Epiphone copy of it, right? Oh yeah, and I call that a shy talk. <laughs> I was actually at the phones, one of the ones I was looking at again, because I'm like, they're reasonably uh, affordable. Right. Okay. Everyone says, don't go on where they made China, but that's got a problem with the neck. I've got to get a heat gun out of it and do it all sorts uh, of strange it out. Gotcha. Um, Indonesia, a uh, uh, brilliant. My seven strings been made in Indonesia. My bass was made in Indonesia. This new one I got made in Indonesia. This- I think my um, PRS might be made there. I don't know if it's there. I don't think it was Korea. I think it was Indonesia. It might be. Right. Cheapest place is supposed to be China, then probably mm-hmm. Indonesia, then Korea. Yeah. Because Korea's got quite expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, <coughs> I was dying. Um, <coughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that, you know, that's, that's how they are. I mean, uh, you know, and of course, with Gibsons, they're all really heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, I I've, I've, I just do it for fun. I'm no, I say. So I'm under pressure now. I've got to do this song. And somebody says to me, "You got to react to it." I said, "I tell you what, if I reacted to my own stuff, it'd be slagged off something terrible." <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> react to your own song. <laughs> That's how you know you've made it when you're reacting to your own song. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I guess you, you do get some funny comments. I mean, I, yeah, for sure. I, I do reply to them all. Yeah, I, I every single one I get to. Uh, I think if someone's took the time to comment, I'm going to reply to it. Yeah. You know, even if, uh, what was, oh, yeah, you get the odd troll. 
Yeah. You know, I, I try to just be kind to him as well. Um, sometimes there's just no pleasing people. Oh, no, you know what to say to them, don't you? The, What's yeah, that? There's, there's nasty comment. Oh, thank you very much. Don't come back. I know. I I mean, again, I try not to be mean, but I, I had one person on one video and it, the comment was just, you talk too much. And I said, I know. And I just pinned the comment because I'm like, you know, I know I talk a lot. It is what it, if you don't want to hear me talk, don't click on the video. If you just want to hear a song, please listen to the song. The artist gets paid by that. Just by all means, you know, oh, join the club. I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> You have you seen any of the videos I've done with PND? My God. <laughs> well, there's a saying here. Well, you know, like you've got Walmart and places like that. Mm -hmm. well, we've got a place called Sainsbury's. And the thing is, you, you know, they say you've got more rabbit than Sainsbury's. <laughs> Not that Sainsbury's <laughs> sell rabbit, but, um, you know, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. I, you know, if somebody's not happy with me, I don't care. Yeah. Um, if you don't like it, you can always turn it off. You don't have to watch it. That's my philosophy. And I hate watching myself. So I have to sit there through that interview and watch it. You know. Yeah. You know, that... those those are the things. I, I've done a couple of videos with PND and the, the pre like um edited version is like two hours long. And I'm just like every single second of listening to myself talk, I'm like, oh God, okay. <laughs> And so you chop it all down, you come out with a 45 minute video, and I'm like, how is this still 45 minutes? Well, with uh, with Gashan, I never no, no, and no editing. See, wow. the, int uh, the intro is me actually playing, mm -hmm. you know, is that started off with the bass and it just happened. And but when I, I couldn't find my right camera, so I thought I'll chop my head off, I don't care. Um, that's what the story is behind that, okay? Yeah, that's why I'm not completely on it. That's but funny. I would green screen it. I've got another green screen actually set up now. Mm -hmm. So I've got to film myself doing this, this tune. Do I wear the maid outfit? You know, I've got a maid outfit. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I said when I hit 10,000, I'd do it. So I did it. Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> um, but I mean, and same as actually, Japan, he said if he gets... Three times they do it. Did you see his um his last music? I don't know if you watched. Yeah. It. Oh, I do. Okay. The so now that we're Scott. talking about Axe Japan, I just want to say I don't know how that guy doesn't have more subscribers. He is doing the most incredible content. He is such a like nice guy too. I don't know him personally. I've never talked to him outside of YouTube comments, mm -hmm. but he is just an awesome guy and he is doing awesome things. I don't see how he doesn't have just the biggest channel out there. It's it's crazy. Uh, same here. I, I mean, I, I know, I know Axe because we've talked on Zoom. I've done interviews with him, and we frequently talk on. Is I'm going to. He's a friend now. He's a friend. Yeah. Um, and um, he, he lives up in Scotland. You know. Wow. Um, and uh, I'm I'm in the Midlands. Okay. Um, basically, if I say Leicestershire, that'll give you a rough idea. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't give away where I actually live. Um, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just tell people, look, I live in L.A. L.A. is a very, very big place with a I lot know. of people. <laughs> that can be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I say Leicestershire, mm -hmm. it's nowhere near as big as L.A. But it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 you know, but, uh, but yeah. And, I mean, it's like Bride Era coming over here. And I want to mm -hmm. see them this time. They're only... They'll only be 40 minutes away from me. Hey, that's not bad. No, no, that's not bad at all. And uh, quite quite funny that because um, I, I, I need to talk to them and I want to meet them. I want to meet them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, they're cool. Like I, I've been following them a while and it's just, that's a band that I'm like, I don't know how this band hasn't taken off as well. Like I've gone through a few members. It just, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, well, like fake gear. Oh, okay, yeah. See, I have not checked them out yet, but they keep popping up, and it's one of those ones like I need to check them out, and I just haven't yet. There's too many bands. Well, fake gear. What well, you know, Captain Mina, who's put it, you know, who's like, if you like, owns the back. I've, I've done mm -hmm. an interview with her. Really? Yeah. 
See, here's the problem. <laughs> you, you have too much content. I could be that my full time job could be watching all your videos. <laughs> no, don't. There's over two. I've got over two thousand. It's crazy. I think I'm coming close to 100 soon. I think I just posted 93. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's probably 2,200, whatever. It's. it's <laughs> I, I just started. I started putting a lot up to start with, just to build it up, mm -hmm. and then it ended up I do three a day. It's a lot. Yeah, but I thought, well, one, you know, I'm thinking, <clears throat> well, let's have a, like a bit of a mix. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Tomorrow, the fix. I'm, I'm reacted to the fix. I've not heard of that. No, I can see. I can see. No, this is the first time I've reacted to them as well. It's a new band. They're from, Very uh, nice. they're from Korea. Oh, those are always interesting when you come across Korean rock well, bands. And as a singer, one's well, got a good voice, but they got, at, I don't know, when they put the video together, I don't think anybody sort of planned anything. And it's just so <laughs> fun. That's my kind of style. I don't like to plan much. I just like to just figure it out as I go along. They did a, they did a uh, cover of Tomboy. Really? Yeah. Huh. And it's flipping good. They are good. Uh, who else is up tomorrow? Um, oh, Gasha. Gasha. Okay. Because everyone says, does she sing? So I've reacted to her singing. Okay. I need to check that one out for oh, sure. She's got a flipping great voice as well. I don't know how they're all so talented in Japan. <laughs> I know. Um, and who's, who's the other one I've got? Um, good question. Oh, Daisy Some... Pepper! Daisy Pepper okay. put one up, uh, a Hendrix cover. Traffic, yeah. Oh. Uh, her, she didn't get it blocked, but I did. <laughs> That's crazy how this. I just see this is my problem. I don't understand, and I've like Bridger, for example. I've tried several times, and I've just slowly come to the realization because there's a couple other bands I tried to feature that I um that I've heard of that not a lot of people have heard of. I, I don't remember who they were. They were actually under Avex, and I, I came to the realization: okay, if it's Avex, you just can't do it. I, I can't, anyways. It just immediately gets blocked. And Sony. Yeah, and, and Sony is pretty hit and miss. Um, whatever it is, but um, if somebody does a cover. You're fine, mm -hmm. but don't do the genuine. The warning, the, the same with them. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed they bring out a new song, the next thing they're in their own studio doing it again? Oh, because they know, they know the record company's not going to. Is make. that why they're doing that? That's actually really smart. That's a lot they, of work on their end, but. Then, then three ladies are very smart. They are very smart. You know, they understand what's happening because. The, People have supported them, right, mm -hmm. all the way through. Yeah. And they, they're giving back, and they, they, they've got a huge fan base now. Oh, I know. It's massive. I haven't done any of them on my channel. I know who they are, but I just kind of try to stick to my little bubble over here, my Japanese. I maybe branch out to Korea a little bit. It's kind of what I do. Oh, Indonesia. No. Yeah, I, I haven't done any Indonesian yet, but um, there is actually one that I need to do soon. I, I I do. I see it. Here's my bad memory. I don't remember who they are, but I have a somewhat of a list. I have a system that doesn't really work. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like mine then. <laughs> yeah. um, but the whole, I mean, this is it though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm having so much fun doing this. And people said to me, because I was bad the other week, I, I woke up, my old body was aching. I thought, look, I've got rigor mortis set in, but I'm still alive. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> And someone says, oh, you've been over there. I don't, I don't know what it was. But, you know, I can't, I can't help it. Mm -hmm. I just like doing it. Yeah. And I put, mm, I, suppose, I do put a few hours in sometimes, I suppose. This, <laughs> like when I was having a chat with uh, Muir, mm -hmm. that was three o'clock in the morning for me. Yeah. And for I me... Did. I have a very weird schedule because my work schedule, I, you know, I, I, my days start about 1230 in the afternoon. My work is supposed to start at 2 PM. I always have a meeting at like 1 30 PM. So I'm always starting early every day and I'm supposed to get out at 11 PM. Sometimes I don't just last week. I worked until 3 30 in the morning. Yeah, so I have that purposely late night schedule now. So that's why a lot of times if I'm ever chatting with somebody, it's like, 
are you a morning person or a late person? If you're morning, we might be able to make this work because I can stay up really late. <laughs> uh, well, this will make you laugh. When I was working, I used to get up at four o'clock in the morning. I haven't done that in a while. Now, now, now I can go to bed at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's what it was before. I, man, in my probably early twenties, I was work going to work at six in the morning. I had to be there. For a brief year or two at my current company, I had to start at six in the morning. That didn't last long. And I just went back to the evening and it's just slowly got pushed back later and later. And now it's just kind of like, oh, hey, you're online. Can you take care of this? It's like, I guess I get overtime. I can't complain too much. You know, <laughs> LA is really expensive. I could use the overtime. <laughs> yeah, it sounds a bit like London. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, but I mean, like, regards uh new new bands or anything you just check my channel out you just yeah you know, you'll see there there's loads there i'm always actually I'm really always, funny always looking for new bands right yeah and and new stuff all the time so when somebody sends me something i'm there i'll react to it and i mean especially the um uh oh here we go hang on it's a name uh, <laughs> it's worse than that it's a flipping country um <laughs> out of Mon Mon you know, Mongolia. Right? Oh, really? You know, they 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 have got throat sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this female does it as well. Really? Yeah, really. And it's huh. been amazing, absolutely amazing. It really is amazing. You know, it, that's what it's that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And I found some 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 amazing stuff out there. Yeah. Your sister made me laugh because she says to me, well, what happens when you run out? I says, you're joking. I'm never going <laughs> to yeah. run out. Good luck, man. <laughs> you have all these other bands too that do like side projects here and there. Like um, Vladimir was actually telling me uh, one time when we were chatting about that 362 band. And I was like, wow. And then, you know, I just branched off now recently, a month or two ago, I checked out Iris Mondo, which is one of the people from 362 side projects. And they're apparently they all have like four or five different bands they're in. I'm just right, like, right. It's okay. crazy. Uh, Karumi Skywalker and uh, what's it? Super Satin, the guitarist. Mm -hmm. That's Iris Mondo, right? Yeah, one's a singer, one's a guitarist. Yeah, it's so I really Itchy, liked it. Itchy, I'm trying to think of her other name. And well, I call the drummer Zed Velka, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, they met up and they formed. Now, how do I know all this? Because I've interviewed them. I've interviewed Iris Mundo. Crazy. And interviewed them as 362. Okay, I didn't know that. I need to check those out because I think 362 was awesome. Iris Mondo, just the other day, my, my guitar practice was, I'm going to put on the one track from them that I, I listened to, and I'm just going to improvise over it because it was so good, just so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and another thing, some, there's a channel, right, who's been recording them live, right? Oh, really? So I thought, well, I'm going to have to have a chat with them first because I, I put a message up there. Yeah, you know, is it okay for me to react to this off your channel? Mm -hmm. Went back, my message is gone. They deleted it, and I've done it a couple of times now, and it's been they're just deleting it. Really? Yeah. So you know what? Because obviously I get on really well with Harris. I'm going to mm -hmm. tell her, I'm going to message them. Hey, there you go. Who has some quite funny quite funny comments with them all all, all all the time the they put a picture up today on twitter the four of them and that so obviously i put it in japanese obviously mm -hmm. check it says what i've made it's to say always double check mm -hmm. and i guess four lovely ladies so super satin so sort of sent a message back what what one really nice old you know really nice guy mm -hmm. i thought oh no having that mm -hmm. i says no what one old, old so is <laughs> That's really funny. You know, I always find it um, really funny. Like I, I make my thumbnails for the videos. That's probably what I spend the most time on creating those thumbnails. And if they have Instagram, since that's the only other platform I have, I will always try to tag any of the members I can find. And every once in a while you get them to like, not only like the photo, they'll reply back. Like, thank you for like checking this out. It's the coolest thing. And it's like, you know, I hope the 30 people that watch this video all go follow you. <laughs> um, right. Hang on. 
I've got my list here, today's list, so I'll be able to tell you who they are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a lot of scroll, there's a lot of scrolling going on at the moment. <laughs> it's a long list because I've got all the information there. Because whatever information they have below theirs, mm -hmm. I'll put, I'll put on, on mine in my description. Right. Have you heard of Junkie 58%? No. All oh, right. I was going to get an interview with them, but then Heidi let me down. And, you know, it was, took a long while trying to arrange it. And then, oh, mm. uh, they're, they're a mad, they're a mad band. They wear pajamas. Wait, what? <laughs> They did a, a live thing. It looks like they're all wearing pajamas. You know, they're all in one pajamas. Yeah, they're like one onesies or whatever. Yeah, they're absolutely they're absolutely crazy. Great band. They're a great band. I really, really I like fun. I like the weird stuff like that, like weird bands that do weird things. I, I'm into that stuff. Yeah. Um, hang on. I, I think I'll scroll in the wrong way. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not kidding. I'm not kidding you. I've got I've got loads and loads and loads of stuff on here that uh, this, this is oh have you heard of um keys uh keys uh, and and death no oh, okay not at she, all man she's, she's a great musician singer and she does everything herself i've reacted to her as well that's one of the 11 um um well have I, have I lost her don't tell me i've lost her well, no, i feel I like i need to just start doing like a segment where it's just once a week, I go through and find a random band that you've interviewed or done on your channel. Rebellious Streak. <laughs> oh, I love Rebellious Streak. And I don't have them on my channel because I know all their songs. <laughs> I love that band. I've reacted to them today. Hey, there you go. Again, again I've reacted to them before, but again. Um, so the, I would say probably the year 2020, when um, before I started my YouTube channel, I went so hard on YouTube finding so many bands. There's so many great bands that it's like, people are always like, hey, check out this one. Yeah, I know all their songs. Yeah, I know all their songs. <laughs> hey, hey, do, you want, do you want to laugh? I'm never going to find it on my list because I've, I've took it off because I've already done it. I've put it up. Oh, hey, well, there you go. That's why it's not there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, may, that, that may explain it. But so if I go on, if I go on YouTube, <laughs> there you go i do that all the time because i i've heard so many bands people will be like have you heard of this one i go to my history on youtube right and search it yeah, yeah i've checked them out <laughs> right uh sigma brain kill killer does not sound familiar she's right she's got a great voice i've reacted to her doing um highway to hell oh right? nice and she thanked me for it and everything else and then i saw her Sent her a message on Twitter. Would you like to do? Because I thought her English sounds really good. Would you like to do an interview? A lot of them don't reply, you know. But yeah. she re she replies. Says, well, "I need to I need to study more English. And I'm very busy and all the rest of it." And I says, "Not a problem." And she says, "You know, she, you know, for your demands." I says, "Oh, for, for, I says, hey, I, I says, no, it's this is not a demand. It's just a request. Mm -hmm. I just let her know that's not. The, I don't use words like that." Yeah. But, you know, but anyway. And, and then I said to her, I says to her, look, it's not a problem. I think I can get a, a, somebody's offered to do some translating for me, interpreting. So I said, I think I can do that. I says, and, you know, sort of explained it. And I says to her, well, you know, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. And she looked, she's really nice. She, she was over the moon that I'd reacted to her. That's really cool. And the comments she put up on Twitter, because I'm, I'm up there doing a lot of translating, believe you and me. Yeah. <laughs> and and she's saying uh, really nice things about me. They said reacted to her, and she's telling everybody to go over to my channel and check it out. That's so, really cool. I know. That's so, really cool. So I replied, obviously, in, in back to her in Japanese. It's funny you, you put in what you want and then you swap it over. It. I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the tough thing. So for for a while um, on my channel, I was actually translating everything i said in japanese without using the auto translate but it was just the amount of time it takes to do that and then my carpal tunnel was just getting destroyed because i'm on the computer all day for work i i had to stop doing it and so now i just i go back and just do the auto translate <laughs> jeez i had mine done <laughs> yeah see that's the thing isn't that only temporarily like relief though no it works I, really it's from work I, the, the both went Oh, okay. 
but I could only play the guitar for 15 minutes and I invented a new way of shredding. Okay, there you Slide go. Slide down the strings because I can't feel it. I'm pressing so hard. Or you can just see mm-hmm. skin coming off my fingers. <laughs> That's, that reminds me of when I first started playing guitar. You know, the first thing I say, don't press down on the strings too hard. I'm like, I am going to destroy my fingers. So I get past that first initial thing of my fingers hurt. And I think in two weeks, my fingers were just gone. Well, <laughs> I was pressing as hard as I could. Well, you know, like back in my day, when you first buy a guitar, <clears throat> one used to set up badly, but there's, there was no such thing as light gaze strings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looked like somebody took the, the strings out of a piano. <laughs> <laughs> and they were really, really hard. And this is why I think I grip too tight now. Mm, okay. But, you know, I have to tell myself, no, you don't need to press it that hard. You know, it's set up. Yeah. Because I set them up myself, my guitars, as well. Mm-hmm. That's well, the, that's the thing, too. When you play a lot, like, I can't really feel the fingertips anymore. So it's like, I have no idea I'm p- pressing really hard unless it yeah. kind of starts to sound bad. You know, they're like, oh, okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you know, it's like I normally play with 10 gauge, right? Okay. And some have got nine on. Oh, where's my high E string gone? I can't feel it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I see. I'm just using a 10 right now. Yeah. Because I, I, I just I just stick with, with 10. I think these behind me are all different. You know, oh, the nines or tens, I've got nothing. Well, I'll get some heavier ones, I think. <laughs> yeah, so I like, think I, I switched to like the Ernie balls, and they're they're great. The yeah. slinky, I think. Yeah, you have to be careful how you pronounce that Ernie balls. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like my bass guitar, right? I don't know what strings are on it, what gaze they are, anything. I know nothing about bass. So. No, I'm not. It's got active pickups. And what I found with active, what active pickups do on a bass, it makes the sound broader. Okay. You make it loud, it makes it broader. And I thought, oh, I like this. Well, that's just drown the guitar out completely. Oh, well. Because <laughs> the way I, I play, I get a drum beat going, maybe just be a single drum beat. Okay. I, can't, I can't do a click, it does me head in, you know. I thought no. So I get a drum beat and then I'll play along to that. And then I sort of work out what else I'm gonna do with it. Right. Um, and then yeah, I sort of mess with the guitar. I'll probably have three guitars playing the same thing, but with different tones or different effects. One here, one here, so it's 80%, 80% or something like that, and one straight down the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what when you what is that with That's the bass? Really cool. That really fills it out. <laughs> But it's just me. It's just me uh, experimenting, playing around, and doing what I uh, doing what I want. But uh, you want to start recording? Do I? <laughs> yeah, you, you'll find it. You'll find it's fun. You you you, you know you play your thing. You're thinking, right? I'll try and work some lead out to this. Mm-hmm. This tune I've done because I said to Axie Pan, yeah, well, you can do the lead on it. Oh, I, I just thought, well, I'll just so basically. I put some lead in, and he goes, mm-hmm. oh, it's fine. I said, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I, said, well, I said, because I just thought, well, I'll just fill the space up, and I just played something, because I can't remember what I played. Yeah. But it worked, you know. But um, and I'm, I'm a devil for that. You know, I can't explain it. When something just happens to you, and you just, you just, you just feel the moment. Yeah. And, and it just works. And it's like, what did I play? That's, I mean, that's the thing though, right? That's, that's guitar. That's a good guitarist, right? Is you're not playing, you're, you're feeling the song, right? That's well, how I look at it anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know what you're saying, but I don't class myself as a musician anyway. So right, neither do I, I say I have a guitar. I don't say I play guitar. <laughs> well, I think you saw that on, um, on the, on the interview with Gash. I mean, he said about me being a musician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. No, she, it's... She's a musician. She's been playing 10 years and, and it makes it look so easy. Yeah, that's that's the, uh, the the fun thing about taking lessons. It's like, okay, that looks easy enough. Then you try to do it yourself. You're like, huh. <laughs> I couldn't do lessons <laughs> because, you know, the old way of doing it, they'd get you playing scales. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, God, what? Oh. I, don't I know what you mean. I don't we, play we, acoustic guitar. 
Uh, yeah, you know, I, I can't either. I can't. And as far as skills go, um, we, we've kind of found an interesting way of learning scales. It's more like, let's check out that band made song. Hey, so in this song, they're actually playing this scale. Let's learn this. This scale is this. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it a little bit more fun. Much, much better way. Much better way of doing it. It's like with me. I must do I know where all the notes are on the guitar, probably some of them, but because of playing patterns, you know, which mm-hmm. fit in the key. So I just yeah. play to the I play to the patterns and that's yeah. We we learn a lot of shapes, and it's like if you take this shape anywhere along, you're playing this scale, and just wherever your index finger is or wherever the first note you play, that is what scale you're playing. So it's it's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's um like me, I won't do covers because I don't want to sound like anybody else, and someone's already done it, so why do I copy them? That's yeah, this, this is just me, mm-hmm. right? I want to sound like me, even if it's even if it's poo. I don't care. It's me. <laughs> um, and that's what I do. That's 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 mm-hmm. what I, that's what it's all that's what it's all about. And it's like with the with, with the reactions. I won't I won't dismantle a reaction. You know, you know, you know why they're playing it like this. The way I see it is. You listen to something. It's if you, if these big ears of mine like it or not, <laughs> and and that's that's how it is with everybody. You know, if we like it, you know, I don't I don't care what what speed it's being played at or whatever. But I mean, yeah. like some of the bands they go through so many like genres <laughs> types in the one song, and it's like wow, and it's just yeah. the way it's seamless. And I'm thinking, have they done that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you you actually see it a lot with band made, right? All of a sudden, they just break out in something a little jazzy, and you're like, "Oh, that was kind of nice. I'd like that." And you're like, "Let me go back and hear that again." Because how 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 do you combine these three different songs into one? Well, you did that uh, with what's it, didn't you? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, um, and because I, I commented on that, <laughs> I'm glad you mm-hmm. did go back because I have reacted to that, and I thought, yeah. "Flipping hell, this is this is awesome." Yeah, it really is. It's now oh, right now. I, somewhere I thought they were called. They, they get called sort of high gain, or high gain. You know, mm-hmm. um, I don't know how the what the proper pronunciation. I is. I think it's hagane. Um, the reason is typically when it comes to like Japanese, you will pronounce every um, like a uh, I guess we'll say vowel or every consonant, whatever we say here i'm i'm not a linguist you know but every single letter in there will get its pronunciation and they all are pronounced at the same pace pacing is very important with japanese so when i look at it i am assuming it's hagane yeah you're probably right i'm old it's a guess it's a guess no, it's probably <laughs> better guess than me it's just that I, I seem to pick it up somewhere where it's somebody called them that then i thought okay i don't know it, it's what like that I, a lot though, like, right? You have people say like Hanabi, yes. but it's it's Hanabie. I know it's Hanabie. I always say, oh, because I was getting that wrong as well. <laughs> so, and that's the same kind of thing. If you look at Hagane, it's the same thing. I, I, I've i reacted to them a lot as well. Oh, yes. And the last one I got copyright strike for. Really? Is that the, the new song they just had? Is that the one that's on Spotify right now, I think, or? It was it was the TV company who ever done it gave me the copyright. Well, I don't know wow. because you get an email, so you send off the email to ask them about it. Nobody ever replies, and it's like, well, the email doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. We know we know that a lot of the times what's happening is these emails are being sent, but you know YouTube are not checking. It's coming from the genuine place. So yeah, so Joe blogs as we say, anybody could send it. You know, so mm-hmm. we, and then. Oh, I'd, I'd, this is this is what I'm like. So I've never had a reply back. Oh, tell a lie. I got an email from one com- one record company saying, "Look, we don't want you to react to this." Mm-hmm. I did ask them. They said no. I thought, "Well, I'm not making money." So fair enough. Then I had the um, the email from um, a record company saying, "Would you react to this?" <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> record most record companies are fine. Yeah. But I can't think of the name of the one now that's in this country. Mm-hmm. What to slag them off. Um <laughs> but, but but no, these these were from Ecuador. And it, what it is, it's a 20, 20 odd minute film. Mm-hmm. 
they've got actors in it and the film's happening, but it's all music being played all the way through it, rock music. Right. Okay. So I said to him, look, I'll react to the first song, if you like, and then just, do what you like. <laughs> so I did. And, and I said, the link will be there for everybody to go over to watch the whole thing. And they thanked mm-hmm. me for it. And, the, you know, on, I think they thanked me on um, Instagram everywhere. Sent me an email. They, they, you know, That's really cool. And it's won a load of awards as well. Wow. So it's what happens. Oh, well, then I, I got invited to uh, this festival. And I said to them, I'm a, I'm a reaction channel. I'm not a musician, right? <laughs> Another email, invite me. I said, no, I don't know. Eventually, they got the, oh, okay, well, it's terribly sorry. It's a mix up. I said, well, yeah, we'll turn it off auto. And, you know, I, I'm not a musician. Then I got, oh, yeah, uh, this will make you laugh. Rum kicks, right? They're coming over to the UK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get an email from Rum kicks, UK management. Telling really? me all, telling me all about them. <laughs> I, I have reacted to them loads of times now. I know. I think I know. Uh, so they replied to him. He said, "Oh, thank you very much for all your support and all that." I guess. And then they the, the told me they're getting a lot of hate trolls. <laughs> really? Saying that they're the fake. They're not a fake band at all. I simply. And I just replied to that. Look, if there's anything I can do to help out, please let me know. Because mm-hmm. I would. Um, there is, uh, I have um, actually blocked certain people. I think I have one person blocked only. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't like doing it. But yeah. You know, when somebody slags off band made, I'm afraid. Bye bye. I just tried to promote positivity i don't like any negativity and that's why at least on my channel i will never post something that i didn't actually enjoy um the reason for that is everybody has their own musical taste right and music is open to interpretation you can't say necessarily something's good or bad maybe you don't enjoy it and Uh, me personally hmm? i will i will say what i think if i'm if i'm not happy with something i'll say look and i'll give a reason why Mm -hmm. it's not for me yeah you know but generally speaking, I'll put everything up. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to be me. Um, mm-hmm. What was it? Who was it? Oh, yeah. Love Bites. The first time I heard Love Bites, I wasn't very nice. <laughs> then, but, I said, oh, so, but somebody says, whoever told you to react, that was the wrong one. It's badly recorded. Mm-hmm. It's badly this. It's badly oh, that. Right. So then anyway, after that, what, a bit later on, a couple more down the road, some, some guy says, I knew it. I've been following you. I knew you'd change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but that's you, true. Sometimes you do need that right song. Yeah. It was just, oh, and, uh, you know, I, it was just, but, you know, it's how it is. It's how it is. It, it's, yeah. it, it's what it's all about. How long have we been chatting for? I don't know. I think an hour. About an hour. Okay. Well, look, I'll tell you what, then we'll, we'll call it, you know, because I don't like it to go on too long because people have fallen asleep. <laughs> No problem. But anyway, this is this is this has been great. Yeah, for sure. It's I mean, it's always my my goal with YouTube is just to chat with great people. And so this is anytime I get an opportunity to do something like this, it's all it's really, really enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, as, as you know, it's this is my aim to get the community all to join together. Yeah. Then we can all have a sing song. No, I don't see. Um <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna I'll, I'll stop recording now. I'll just say like cheerio to everybody. Mm-hmm. So bye bye. If you want to say cheerio. Bye everyone. Uh yeah, yeah, I guess uh just say thank you to everybody for stopping by, chatting. Um anytime anybody wants to chat, let me know. Uh, I'm always down to talk to really cool people. And thank you again for having me. This is really fun. And thank you. For accepting the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so bye, bye for now. Well, there you go. We we chatted about sort of all sorts of different bits and bobs, and um, great guy, lovely guy, love his channel. So information about his channel will be in the description below. So 
get over there, check him out, and go and subscribe. It's a great, great, great guy. Really, really is. And um, this is what it's all about. Obviously, another uh, maniac like myself. Um, so there you go. Great, great, great guy. Honest, seriously, it's genuine, lovely person. So go over there, check him out, check him out. And of course, I'd like to thank everybody. Thank you so, so much for all your comments, all your support and everything else. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, please, please, please stay safe on this old fella. We'll be back. Bye for now.